Hi, I'm Sean Walker and I'm here in my office at home. And I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about a challenge I've seen students in the past in my technical writing classes have. I've often seen students struggle with making the transition from academic writing over to technical writing. Now, academic writing is what you learned in Writing 121. However, technical writing is a very different style of writing. The thing they have in common is that regardless of what style of writing, writing is not a spectator sport. It is something you have to actively participate in. In other words, it's more like gaming than watching a movie. And re like gaming, regardless of the style of game or which game you're playing, you have to know the rules and be engaged to succeed. And the same is true with writing. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about how academic and technical writing operate differently. The first fundamental difference between academic and technical writing is their basic purposes. Academic writing takes a position and then the writer must support that position with evidence. So just like in gaming, when you hold a position in gaming, you have to use the tools and the weapons you have available in order to keep that position. On the other hand, technical writing has the goal of writing instructions to achieve a specific goal. In gaming, this would be similar to telling your friend how to win a battle. The second difference between academic writing and technical writing is that academic writing expands our knowledge of the world, much like the map in the lower left corner of this picture, a screenshot of a game. That map provides additional information and broadens the perspective of the world uh, that this game is operating in. However, technical writing offers solutions to problems. So the problem that this character may be facing is beating the unbeatable monster that's just over the hill. And technical writer will provide the step-by-step -step instructions on how to accomplish that goal. The third difference, again, with academic and technical writing is that academic writing focuses on the argument while technical writing focuses on behavior. The academic writer will take a position and build an effective argument, which can be quite fun all by itself. It's like convincing your friend that Call of Duty is a better game than World of Warcraft. If you simply make that statement, no one's gonna believe you. You have to sell it. You have to be able to provide your support on why you hold that position. And you have to bring up evidence in the form of the features of the game and why it plays better than another game. In contrast, technical writing is about changing somebody's behavior. So continuing with our gaming analogy, let's say a friend of yours is stuck on a level. So you help them out by giving them tips in the form of steps to implement to get to the next level. When your friend tries out those tips and those strategies, they've changed their behavior based on the instructions you provided. Now I'm going to talk a little about how academic and technical writing documents look differently. But keep in mind, these are just generalizations. There's a lot of variety in both styles of writing. But continuing our gaming analogy, the academic paper begins with a hook, which is something that grabs the reader's attention. Just like a game has to grab your attention and interest you in order for you to try playing it. Next, we have to also establish the background, like defining the area or even the universe we're playing in in a game. Like the thesis statement, in a game, we also must announce our intentions and stake out our positions when interacting with other players, whether they're friends or foes. However, the technical writing game is a little different. Since we're already holding the information that the reader needs, we don't need a hook. They already need to read what we have to say. We do need to announce our purpose then orient the reader with the context and the current situation we're operating in. This is much like building allies and working out strategic plans in an online game. Now, both type of writing does have some basic commonalities, just like there are commonalities across all gaming platforms. Ultimately, 
with the body paragraphs, it doesn't matter what style of writing. A paragraph is still a paragraph, still requires a topic, sentence, main points, and a supporting details. The difference is in how the paragraphs interact with each other. So academic writers connect the ideas from one paragraph to the next. So they will use transition words and phrases in order to help build the structure of their argument. But technical writers rarely need those transitions because each paragraph serves a specific purpose and should be able to stand alone on its own. So two different strategies here are used just like different strategies are used in different types of gaming. Lastly is the conclusion, which is quite different between academic and technical writing. The academic writer will restate their thesis, sum up their main points, and leave the reader with a final thought. However, the technical writer will still sum up main points, but their focus, instead of restating their thesis and wrapping up an argument, is making a recommendation in, to take action for the solution to a problem they are solving. So again, the technical writing conclusion is focused on the behavior that they are wanting to implement. So in wrapping up this talk, I've listed a few features of both academic and technical writing. I'm not gonna go over each one, but you can take a closer look at them by either pausing the video or you can take a look at the PDF of the PowerPoint that I have put, I've added as a file right below this video on Moodle. And if you have any questions, be sure to put them in our parking lot forum. And remember, writing is an activity like gaming, not movie watching. And so until next time, be engaged.